hello followers of uh, my youtube channel welcome to today's uh, video um, the last we, uh, three videos we have uh, seen about service regression stability mapping uh, using JS and uh, analytical hierarchy process and I hope uh, you got uh, some interesting knowledge on regression stability mapping in similar way we can uh, do uh, this groundwater potential zone mapping as well as flood uh, zone mapping and so on by using JS and analytical hierarchy process uh, the only difference is uh, selecting your parameters and uh, the parameter uh, the influence of the parameters that you use for surface regression may be uh, may not have the same uh, suitability for groundwater or uh, flood free uh, flood uh, zone mapping that may be the difference but uh, the work is similar with that of surface regression stability mapping so in today's video uh, we will see how to prepare land use land cover map as well as uh, look up table for uh, land use land cover map for a SWAT model inputs you know that this SWAT model um, has different parts watershed delineation as well as a chari analysis and uh, you may write uh, input tables finally can ra run the SWOT model now when you are doing the HRE analysis you are, you are required to um, uh, insert the different parameters for instance if you see this HRE analysis there is uh, land is soil slope definition so you should prepare your own uh, land is land cover with that of uh, the lookup table okay so to start with uh, let us uh, add uh, the boundary of uh, watershed for instance here um, for uh, demonstration purpose let us use uh, uh, this and that's watershed okay let us uh, use this one this is a uh, uh, watershed of Andesa and um, uh, to prepare the land use land cover you should uh, have your own land use land cover map or uh, you may get from different institutions for instance uh, I have a uh, land use land cover from TPN mapping agency which is prepared in 2006 16 so let us add uh, this one and um, you, you know that this is a shape file yeah if you see the property of this map uh, it is a shape file so you can see the source and this is a shape file therefore you should clip uh, your own uh, land use land cover using uh, your watershed so go to this uh, Arco toolbox then uh, under this there is analysis uh, analysis tool here extract by clip here yeah? uh, and uh, our input feature is uh, the land is land cover uh, of Ethiopia in, uh, which is prepared in, in the 2060 and I would like to clip by using uh, and that's our watershed here and I would like to put uh, for instance let us put it on desktop and under the SWAT here uh, let us create a new folder new folder it says and uh, this one is um, land use land cover and asa okay land use land cover and asa it says save yeah then okay we have now um land use land cover map for, uh, for uh, our study area and you can uncheck this one 
if you see this a property here uh, what type of land use land cover are there please don't land use land cover apply okay yeah you see around uh, three intensively cultivated moderately cultivated and open sharp land uh, types of land use land cover are uh, available in this watershed and uh, uh, you should adjust or you should uh, uh, take uh, those names what the SWAT name uh, knows for instance if you s uh, open if you open some um, uh, SWAT database yes SWAT database these uh, those uh, land land cover uh, may not have available on the SWAT database therefore you should relate those uh, crop names with that of uh, SWAT name uh, so uh, we can connect the uh, raster map with that of the uh, SWAT database using a lookup table in such a way. To do that, uh, you should first know that what type of land use land cover uh, are available. If your land use land cover is uh, agricultural land generic, you should uh, say that the crop name, this is what. Uh, read this this name okay hrl and if uh, your uh, land is land cover is forest mixed you should give a name as frst and uh, if you uh, your watershed uh, land is land cover is water you should say water in such a way you should give um, the name of your land is land cover okay Therefore, therefore, uh, let us uh, open the attribute table of this one. Open the attribute, and if you s see here, it is intensively cultivated, and this one is moderately cultivated. Open sharp land, moderately cultivated. Okay, around three um, uh, types of land is land cover are available. So you should adjust. Let us give a crop name for uh, those uh, land use land cover types uh, make sure that when you are giving uh, a SWAT crop name you should take this name this one this four uh, um, or three those symbols uh, in general okay CP and M now so let us uh, to do uh, or to give a name for those uh, land use land covers uh, let us add a new attribute or add a new field here by clicking on table option and uh, for that uh, you can add a new field yes add a new field here I would like to add a new field which is uh, a crop a SWAT crop name okay a SWAT crop a SWAT crop and uh, I will write a text therefore you should select this text format and that may be uh, so long so you can uh, say Tony and uh, okay so we have uh, this uh, additional table here now you can um, write a new crop name for those types of land is land covers but this table is not uh, it's not active to write any uh, thing else so uh, the first option here to uh, do uh, to write is uh, just right click on this and uh, edit feature and you can say st start edit start edit yes so if you see then this table is now editable then the other option is uh, go to this editor yes uh, uh, since the, uh, it is uh, already started that is why there is no any other option but uh, let us uh, stop editing and you can use it as uh, in such a way editor I start editing I would like to edit this land is land cover and then okay okay similarly we can use 
those two options to um, write um, some texts in this table. Therefore, this intensively cultivated, moderately cultivated, and agricultural land has um, uh, let us give a name for. Uh, let us include those as uh, agricultural land generic, and uh, their symbol is HRL. HRL. Therefore, you say that here, this intensively cultivated land is HRL. HRL. Similarly, this moderately cultivated is HRL. HRL and uh, let us uh, leave this one and we will see what uh, the name uh, is for uh, open sharp land moderately cultivated for moderately cultivated uh, let us also give us HRL since uh, already those are uh, cultivated land is but you can someone may not uh, say this one yeah for moderately cultivated land, uh, someone may say that agricultural land row uh, row crops or agricultural land uh, close grown, yeah. But you should have uh, some references to uh, use in such a way. Therefore, for uh, sharp land, let us say uh, see sharp land here. Uh, for instance, here sharp land is there any sharp land? Say uh, sharp land here. Share of uh, land you can find the share of land here uh, yeah this one is a share of land therefore and check this one and what type of symbol it has yeah, this one is share of land so okay you see, for shelf land, uh, the symbol is SHRB. SHRB. Here is SHRB. Now uh, go to this editor. We will like to save the our edit and say stop edit. We have prepared uh, a swath crop name in such a way. After that, after that, uh, you should convert this map to raster yeah you know that this map is a uh, shape file uh, so you should convert it yeah go to this conversion tool uh, conversion tool to raster here uh, polygon to raster our import feature is uh, land use and data and uh, take here here the value field should be that of uh, swath crop yeah Swat crop name and here is it says um, it has save it as uh, land use land cover raster it is a raster okay raster format S say save and you should uh, uh, take that the seal size here should be similar to that of the digital elevation model that uh, you use uh, so you should adjust uh, this seal size uh, similar to that uh, since I, I have uh, in this case now that add a digital elevation model let us use this one but you should take here uh, uh, you should adjust the seal size uh, uh, to that of the digital elevation model so say okay and in such a way we can prepare uh, your if you uncheck those maps you have uh, this raster uh, land use land cover for your watershed and the other thing here if you open this attribute you see you have value and you have uh, a swath crop name therefore uh, we have finished uh, preparations of the land use land cover the other thing here is preparing a lookup table for this um, uh for this uh, land use land cover map wait a minute so uh, we have uh, prepared this uh, land use land cover map in such a way after you have uh, preparing it you should pre uh, uh, prepare a lookup table for this land use land cover map okay 
so to prepare the land uh, the uh, lookup table for this land is land cover you should use this value and uh, a sort crop name to do that uh, just uh, open a, a new text document here right just right click here and uh, new uh, open text document here so lookup table look up uh, look up okay for land use land cover to the for land use land cover land use land cover look up okay uh, after that uh, open it and you should uh, say that here value say value here value here take care for uh, uh, spelling here also okay value and here is a uh, name yeah you say enter so the first uh, value is one one is ajrl their name is ajrl the second name is two yeah this is ajrl this one is a shrubland therefore um, uh, you should uh, uh, give those value and their name simply therefore the value one is here one comma uh, a grl i mean a grl enter comma uh, two comma uh, shrub yes in such a way shrub here for say save yeah save so we have prepared the land use land cover here uh, look up uh, for land use land cover we have prepared this uh, map so we are when you are adding uh, under hru when you are adding the land use land cover under hru you should select this map this map the map is it says land use land cover raster you should upload this one as well as you should uh, give the land is land uh, the land is land cover lookup uh, in such a way we can uh, uh, prepare the land is land cover as well as the lookup table for uh, uh, a SWAT model inputs under the HRU analysis I hope it is very simple and um, if you have uh, some difficulty you can contact me uh, on the comment section uh, I will uh, come with that of uh, how to prepare the soil map in the lookup using uh, a macro uh, for the coming uh, video and uh, for today it is enough and uh, uh, I would like to say you subscribe and share to your friends uh, and um, for today it is enough uh, bye